What is going on guys? It's Gage here at You Buck Dad and uh Well, I'm here to dive in in the Buccaneers coming in the playoff game against the Rams. Alright, uh and I'm looking at the injury report at I've looked at it. Worfs and Jensen are questionable. Good news is Worfs actually practice um, today, so that's pretty good. Um, and Jensen, I think he was a limited part, part of pitching also. So they're both pretty limited, obviously, coming in the playoffs. Um, and uh, so far, like hopefully they play, but... Ronald Jones and Prashar Pre, uh, Preman is, uh, I, I, I always mess up the last name, Prashar Pre, Preman, um, he is out also, he will not be in, as far as I um, believe Scotty Miller's in, and that's a, I believe that's about everyone, I might be missing a player or two, but, it might, it's a possibility, I think, if I did take, my take is Worf's. I believe he will play. I know he's having a little bit of problems, but I, I don't know. I feel like he's going to play. Um, Jensen might be in our case, though. He, yeah, he, uh, yeah, he's very questionable right now. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see how that works out. Hopefully for the best. Um, but we're not only talking about the Bucks, but around the league. Giants have hired their GM, John uh, Stroden, I believe his name is. Um, he is an assistant GM to uh, Bean, the GM for the Bills. And he, uh, I believe he's been there for like five. I might have said, I'm, he's been there for, the, I think he's been there if I'm correct, could be wrong. But I know it's in this within the range. I say I believe it's four years around that range. But yeah, he's been there for a long time. He was part of the Josh Allen with assisting all that, and uh, I believe he could be a good case. And also, he I believe he was with Miami at one point for about four years. He uh, so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of expectations with Brian Flores to go in the interview, and that's uh, that's a rabbit hole. I might. I might have to dive in a little bit later, but uh, yeah, and with Sean Watson and all that, that's the uh, that could be a package deal right there. But uh, but so far uh, so far it's health wise for the Buccaneers. Obviously, Chris Goblin is not gonna be in for the rest of the season. Hopefully, he gets an extension soon. But uh, those hold their breaths on that one, unfortunately. <laughs> And the other news, uh, around the league, Vikings, they have made their two finalists. I'm not even, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the Browns, uh, the potential GM case, but, uh, I think it's Mashara Mish or something like that. Uh, I, can't, I have a hard time pronouncing his name, but, uh, he is a top candidate. He's the one of the finalists for the Minnesota Vikings, and with that, it's polls from the from the Chiefs GM for the last uh, I believe it's four years I believe um actually it'd be longer four years it'd be, it'd probably five or six because he was part of that Patrick Mahomes case also and uh, he was actually part of their offensive line game rebuilt this year which. They definitely take some pros and cons out of it because a lot of young players, but they're looking pretty damn good. And they're in the playoffs right now. So, Ryan, uh, Ryan Poles, that's his name. Ryan Poles, I would get him. He's had, he's been, he's been part of a Super Bowl team. No offense to uh, Mush Rot, that's with the Browns, but Poles has been on a winning team. And he has a good system. And with Eric Bellamy, I believe he would take. I believe, I believe, if Ryan pulls his car, I believe it's going to be him and Eric Bellamy. And let me tell you, because I do support the Vikings. My family was a uh, my family supports the Vikings. I was a fan for a couple of years, but uh, 
I think they can do pretty well. I think Vikings are because they got a young quarterback Kellen Mond. Now I believe he I saw his potential this up this year and he looked pretty damn good. Rookie mistakes obviously, but man, he has a lot of upside. Let's well, that's well, I guess we're about to wrap it up. Um, and better news, Buccaneers news. Actually, it's related to the Vikings also. Todd Bowles just got interviewed by the Vikings. And if Todd Bowles does go, I would want this dude. Um, Ron Meeker, um, Winkerdale, I believe his last name is. Um, He's got fired by the Ravens defensive coordinator. I... Their defense wasn't the best year, but he's been consistent with the Ravens. He's led. The, he's been a defense coordinator there for around three or four years. Um, did great, great things. Um, and I, I would take him as a buck. I believe he would do well with us. Um, depends on the scheme, obviously, because Todd Bowles built a different scheme, possibly than different than his. Um, but yeah, I think he'd be a great candidate if. Todd Bowles gets hired, which he possibly could. He possibly could because this Rams game go either way. Hopefully with us winning. But, uh, yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, like and subscribe. And uh, you bucked that.